We got Dwight Aka Matters joining us ahead of LFA 80. Sir, how you doing? I'm doing good. Feeling great. Excited for this fight week. Heavyweight fight coming up. Another big guy stands in front of you. Too. Heavyweight fights I find the most interesting because they're so edgy your seat, it could end in any moment. How do you look at this endeavor as an amateur jumping in the cage being a heavyweight? Oh man, I love it. It's uh, My first fight was at super heavyweight, so my first fight I was at 295, so this is going to actually be my seventh fight. And it's been great. I've been loving it and enjoying it. Um, I want to be outperforming all these heavyweights that they say that they're all great and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be a great fight. Um, and yeah. How many fights is it in all you said? This is going to be my seventh fight. So I've had seven MMA fights, I've had a few boxing smokers, a few keg boxing smokers, and I've done a lot of jiu-jitsu competitions. How long did this martial arts journey begin? Six years ago, actually. <laughs> uh, it was going to be six years in uh, of August, it was it completed six years. Um, yeah, it's a freaking amazing journey. I started at first at, uh, I was 400 pounds when I first started. Um, I was 19, 20, not heading in the right life, uh, path in life, and started fighting and has changed me completely. What was that first inspiration? What led you down this path? Uh, <laughs> so here's the thing, right? I went, uh, I was a big heavy guy and I was drinking a lot. I was 20, not really doing anything with my life. And, um, I went to Las Vegas and I went to this, I went with some friends and we went to this place called the Heart Attack Grill. I don't know, oh, yeah. it's this famous, yeah, no, yeah. There. yeah. Went to so, Arizona. Right, so you go there and if you're over 350 or something pounds, you get a free burger for free. And I did it, I got it, and everyone was all cheering for me and I'm like looking at the scale, I'm like, what, does that really say 398 with everything and everything on? So I was eating this burger and then I was just not, it, it just kind of struck to me like, why am I celebrating being so heavyweight or like so big and like what, what, what is this doing to me? So at that point I kind of just dropped my food and I went to go walk around Fremont Street and I saw the fights on TV. And as I saw the fights on TV, I grew up in Oakland so I was like, man I know how to fight, it's easy stuff, why not? That's something that I could be doing, right? And. Uh, I just remember, as soon as I saw that fight, I was like, that's what I want to do. And as soon as I got back from that trip, I emailed a bunch of schools and a bunch of uh, dojos and stuff like that. And finally came across to one place and started my journey there. They uh, told me my first art was uh, jiu-jitsu, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And then they, I was kind of like the biggest guy there, so they were like, you need to lose a lot of weight if you want to fight. So I went from jiu-jitsu to started doing CrossFit and running a lot. And then uh, six to seven months later, I started doing Muay Thai. And then the weight started coming down and I started realizing how what you put in your body affects how you train and how everything is uh, mentally about it too. And uh, yeah, so my first, uh, it was 2014 my first uh, when I first started getting into it and my first fight was December of 2015 at 295. Do you remember thinking or what it was that pushed you to keep going? Because going to jiu-jitsu class and if you fell in love with that, going over a CrossFit gym, now that is like <laughs> jumping different realms. Yeah, right. realms like, so, so what kept you motivated and pushed you through this? Um, a lot of my motivation comes from my family. Uh, my mom is one of my biggest motivators and also my dad, he passed away when I was a younger age so he kind of has helped me in my life and motivated me a lot. Um, so every day I would wake up and just try to be a better better me. Like I was like, okay, I need, I know this is what I want to do. This is what I have to do. So that's pretty much what I started doing is just not giving up and just keep going to the gym. I know if I just showed up, everything else would be easier. And were you instantly from that jiu-jitsu? Were you hooked on martial arts? Uh, yeah. How was that? Connection? Yeah. So the first... <laughs> My first class, I was uh, there and I was the biggest guy there. They didn't even have a gi for me. They were just like, oh, we would just do no gi. And I just remember, I was like, man, what is all this stuff? And then I was getting tapped out by one of their black belt or one of my instructors. And I was just all like, man, that's crazy. How do you do this? How do you do this? And I started falling in love with it. And then I started realizing it. Like I was, uh, I was in, I was at a bad point in my life. Like I was drinking every day. I was super big. I was always angry all the time. And then um, that's when I realized that 
you're not allowed to let anger control your emotions or let anger control you. So that's what Jiu Jitsu has helped me with. It was helping me to find an understanding of my body, helping me to find an understanding of what life really is. And there's really no ego when you go into your, that gym and like thinking that you're the biggest tough guy in the world because it doesn't matter the size of the person next to you. They can step you out in an instant like that. So it kind of helped me motivated me, wanted me to get better, and was like, all right, the thing I need to do is just keep dropping this weight. So they like suggested me to do CrossFit, which was a big journey too, because I didn't understand the whole point of it, but it helped me lose all the weight and it helped me stay dedicated to what I wanted to do, and that was fun. Now, when did you return to the martial arts gym? Uh, I've been, I was there from a long time. I mean, I've never left. I've been doing jiu-jitsu. I've been doing, uh, they were, it was an all-in-one school. So I had jiu-jitsu, crossfit, and Muay Thai. They were known for their Muay Thai, and then uh, they adopted the uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu program. So they were helping build that program up. So then that's when they like were talking to me about it. Like, hey, trust me, you need to learn the ground before you step into the thing. Because beforehand, when I first started, I thought fighting was just, I'm gonna go out there, I'm just gonna go as hard as I can. But no, there's a lot more to fighting than just fighting. <laughs> now you're out there in Oakland, California. How do you end up here where we are? Jackson Lake, uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. So I've actually, it actually hit my two year mark that I moved out here from uh, Oakland. And uh, in California I was at a gym and I wasn't really, I was training with a bunch of lighter weight people and it was like really not the work that I needed, I mean, they helped me with a lot of my, you know, getting familiar with what martial arts is. I had an amazing trainer, uh, Joe Turney, biggest Muay Thai instructor that I know. He was helped me out a lot over there. Um, uh, so how did I end up here is I was at a Buffalo Wild Wings with one of my friends and I was telling him, like, I feel like I need to be out in the world. I need to go see, explore the world. And then we were just lying down options. And then he was all like, why don't you try Jackson Wing? Because all the amazing people, I mean, this is considered one of the best schools in the world. And uh, yeah, that's how I kind of went into it. I got offered a job out here by one of my friends and then we just kind of went with it. I packed everything in my car and just drove down here and stepped foot in this gym and started training. What's that experience been like? Stepping on these mats with world class talent. It's amazing, man. I'll tell you one thing I never in my life thought I'll get here. Never in my life that I think I was going to get to this point in my life, right? But there's so much talent that steps in through these doors. You get so much knowledge. You get to be able to train with everyone. Um, everyone is here to help and teach us and make us better. Um, so that's been my biggest thing that I've loved about it is that everyone here like loves the martial arts. And that's what I love to see. And I like to see people improving ourselves. And it feels like our team where we're at now, that's what we like to do. We like to help and push and motivate each other. Into this six years out here for two years, what's your why? My why is still, um, it still has to be to better, uh, I want to be a better person who I was beforehand. Like I said, I was always angry all the time and my biggest why is my mom. She's my biggest inspiration. Um, and I want to make sure that she lives the life that she gets to and I want to make sure she stops working and take care of her how she took care of me my entire childhood. Next competition, next fight is against Mario Moore at LFA. Baby, what do you think about this one? Oh man, it's gonna be fun. I've uh, I've seen Mario around. I've seen his fights. Um, I used to, uh, I see, we train at the Performance Ranch. Uh, really good guy, good striker. It's gonna be a fun fight. I'm excited to see what we could do and excited to put on for LFA. Man, that's my biggest thing. Never did I think I would get to that point where I'm fighting for a big organization and it's I would have not have liked to share it with a better opponent. Talking about you started off with Jiu Jitsu, Muay Thai. So, what kind of fighter are we expecting when we see the White Matters? Yeah, the I'm cage? a mixed martial artist. All Whatever I see, I'll go for it. Whether it's going to be wrestling, if it's going to be sh striking, whatever it is, whatever I see, whatever I get to feel and witness. Um, like I said, I'm all well on the fighter. I love doing this. It's not just a hobby for me. I'm constantly here training. I go to a bunch of other places to go learn. Um, there's just so much that I love about doing martial arts. It's changed my life. It's kind of given me a second upcoming into life. So it, you get to see whatever I see, whatever opening I see, if they would knock out submission all around. I'm just trying to be a better fighter than I, or a better person than I am yesterday. Friday night, what do you have to do to feel that you've progressed? Oh man, I've done this entire fight camp. I mean, I feel like at this point, 
I just got to go out there and show people what I've been doing for the past two years here. Like, you know, I've been here for two years, been working under Winkle John, under Joey, with all these amazing coaches, and I got to show what I've been learning out here. So I'm excited to show what it is, whether it's a knockout, whether it's a submission, whether it's whatever it is. I'm excited to show what I could prove to this world who I am. If you're in the Albuquerque area, Route 66 Casinos Legends Theater will be the host. Or UFC Fight Pass. It's LFA 80. Sir, thank you for the time. Thank you.